Hey guys, it's Ashley here with GlobalGrind.com. We're here at the 2014 Agenda Trade Show, and we're gonna find out what's hot in streetwear for the upcoming season. Hey guys, it's Ashley here with Global Grind, and I'm with the legend Jeff Staples. Doesn't really need an introduction. Now, you've been in the game since, what, 1997? Correct, yes. Was that when you broke into the college to do that? Or? Um, that sounds a little extreme. <laughs> I was going to college, and they, they had a silkscreen lab that didn't allow you to print on shirts. So I had to break into the silkscreen lab, not into the whole school. All right, correction. He had to break into the lab, not the school. I'm not a felon. I'm not, you know, it's not grand larceny. I just had to break into the lab. But yeah, they, I would get in trouble if I did it, so I would have to do it at night, late at night. Me and my friend would just break in. We'd have a pillowcase full of t-shirts, and we just went in and, you know, catch wreck inside that lab. It was dope. And what were those first designs like? Uh, very, very politically provocative. So I was like a young student, I had a lot of angst in my head, a lot of anger as every young teenager does, and I was using t-shirts as my medium to get it out, you know. Um, so they were very, very politically charged shirts, you know, dealt with racism, dealt with like government op uh, oppression, you know what I mean, um, Illuminati, all that shit, so like it dealt with a lot of that stuff. And what I learned, you know, over my career is to like, um, embed the messaging into more interesting, relevant, trendy graphics. So that way you get the young people to rock your shit and then the messaging is still carried throughout. That's sort of the fine tuning that I had to learn over the years. How have you had this lasting power? What is, what's behind that for you? Luck? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even want to really think about it to be honest because it's not a, it's not a strategy. You know, I'm not like how do we stay relevant? Like every, you know, I'm not asking that question every year. I just really, it sounds cliche, but I try to stay true to what we do. And honestly, I said it, like luckily that has maintained relevancy throughout the past almost two decades now. Okay. But um, hard work and hustle, you know, that helps too. Um, but yeah, don't, I think the worst thing you could try to do is be trendy. Like I think if you sit down at a table with your, with your teammates and you're like, how do we stay on point and how do we be cool? Like, you're already off to the wrong foot. Like, you just gotta live it, you know what I mean? Just do you, do what comes out of you naturally, and I think that's the secret. So, what is one streetwear trend that you absolutely hate? I honestly don't hate any trend because you look at agenda, you look at the size of this place, there's room for everybody here in every trend, you know what I mean? And I think that's the beauty of street culture, is like the, the melting pot of everything. Um, so I don't hate trends, but you'll see trends that you'll never see within Staple. Right. You know, so like, right now, you know, everyone's putting like curse words on shirts, or everyone's putting like drugs on shirts, and everyone's putting half-naked women on shirts. And you'll never see any of that out of Staple, because for our motto is a positive social contagion. That's our motto. So we try to take the higher road and like, talk about sort of elevating your mind and stuff so we don't want to promote downplaying women or encouraging drug use or like curse words you know we just we're trying to hit people from like a design standpoint you know like better design you see our collection which I'll show you is like much more collection cut and sew based it's not all t-shirts and printed graphics it's like an actual clothing collection so we're trying to win people over with our quality versus like shock factor you know like let's just put every curse word every drug and every naked chick on a shirt and like if we, if we did that we would probably sell and make a lot of money but we maybe that's why we've been in it for 18 years and not eight months you know so no drugs no women no curse words but a lot of pigeons yes pigeons to me is you know some people will say pigeons are a nasty thing to put on a shirt but to me pigeons just embody what it means to be a city hustler like a pigeon is like a bird and a bird has no right to be as successful as it is in New York City. Like it should be extinct and dead, but somehow pigeons thrive and really survive in New York. And I feel like that is like a very New York mentality. Like we live in the city, we live and breathe it, but we succeed in the city as well. And it just so happens that pigeons also like are in every part of the world. So everyone who lives in the city in the world is like, yo, pigeons is my bird, you know? It's like, no, it's my bird, but okay, you could borrow the bird, you know? Um, so that's that's where the pigeons come about, and, and that spirit has really, I think, resonated with a lot of different people from all different colors, uh, ages, social demographic. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, you know, like everyone feels something for the pigeon. What's up? This is Jeff Staple, Staple Design, Staple Pigeon, and Reed Space. You're watching GlobalGrind.com. Peace.